The casket salesmen aren't as dark and morbid as their name might sound. Actually, it's quite contrary to that. Their message is more of a live life to the fullest with an uplifting type of persona. After a near-fatal accident and somewhat of an epiphany, Phil Peroni and his fellow band member Nate Lindman decided to start a band which could take their musical ideas into a direction they both wanted to go. The Undiscovered crew traveled to San Francisco to catch up with the casket salesmen midway through their first nationwide tour. In October 2005, I was involved in like a really crazy car accident, and I was in a coma, and um, a lot, a lot, pretty much, it was, I was really banged up, really bad, and then uh, when I got out of the hospital about two weeks later, I, uh, I decided to quit the band I was in and start uh, a band of my own where I could, you know, be as progressive and as experimental as I wanted to be, I guess. Over the last year, we've we've done a lot, a lot, a lot, and uh, it's kind of all hitting me now. Like at the end of this tour, I'm kind of like exhausted. So we've been together only a year, you know, and, and released a record, started a record label, uh, and put a, t a tour together, which we booked ourselves, which, you know, is exhausting. Their latest album, Sleeping Giants, was recorded out of Phil and Nate's own pocket. Although they had complete creative control, that didn't make them self-indulgent. Every note and lyric doesn't stray away from its purpose. Phil and Nate's creative abilities and unique collaboration transform into the Casket Salesman's song. Without either of them, they could not have formed the band into what it is and what they hope to become. The first memory I have is filling in for bass in his old band. We were like, you know, in early high school. And we just hung out, and he was really cool. And then, and then we went our separate ways because his bass player came back from vacation or whatever. And we hung out, you know, and then uh, just mesh well together. We get along great, and, and even when we have little problems, we quickly learn from them, you know, instead of like being stubborn males. But yeah, he, he's my buddy, and, and he's my he's my partner, and I love him to death. And I, I don't I couldn't do this this project without him. This 70s style's new progressive rock band focus on playing music they love, but try to deliver a message to their fans. This is what keeps the casket salesmen unique and interesting. Their love for music keeps every song entertaining and original. I don't know, I guess we just had a lot of fun. I guess that's the best answer. We just had as much fun as we possibly could. We didn't think about, um, this is going to be a, rec a record that's coming out. We need to sell a lot of copies, and we need to do something that's going to be a, a, a hit, and, and it's going to be hot. We just wanted to do what we wanted to do, and if, if it was going to be outdated or, or cheesy or, or shitty or, or whatever people wanted to call it, we, we didn't care. The casket salesmen will be finishing their first tour within the next few months. While the next album's release date is still unknown, that doesn't mean the casket salesmen will stop making good music. They are continually working on new sounds all the time and will put forth better music each time they play. We'll probably do another record soon, but I know like we have a side project called Umbrella Tree that we're probably going to do that first before we do another Cast Sales record. But you got to do what you got to do, you know? And if Cast Sales is the only thing that like we're able to tour on and like you know, pay the bills with, then we, we must do another casket salesman record. Be sure to keep your ears open for a casket salesman show near you. It won't be one that you want to miss. <laughs>